Sure, today the streets are all lined. Got a whole showdown here. Man, them little ones are big. Can't even call them little anymore. Hopefully somebody's smart enough to cut across instead of just everybody going up and down the driveway. I guess it's take your turkey to work day. Come on, somebody get smart. I'm standing on our rocks right here that uh, we have for a fishing spot and this is the center of the peninsula and if you remember this whole inside here was left as a ledge before it dropped straight down so it's a probably about an eight foot maybe ten foot path but what it did was it created an awesome place for fish beds look at that uh, they found it this spring already obviously they're not being used now um, it's the end of September, but they will be ready for next year. And that's perfect because that whole strip all along has that ledge so they can make their fish um, structures. Very nice. A little bit farther down looking from the other side, but as you can see here, uh, there's that really shallow, about eight foot section like I said. And um, the fish, actually, they love it. A whole bunch of minnows swimming around right so here. So there really was a plan behind some of the things we did. <laughs> and this is the channel. And I'm not going to get too close right now. But there are probably about six bass right now. Oh, probably eight, nine inches swimming along this edge. Um, this is where there's a whole bunch of minnows hiding in those rocks so yeah they're definitely using it as a road to go back and forth between the ponds right there are all the minnows trying to hide from the bass what a great habitat for them wow but that's one of the reasons we did that looks like a grade school dance everybody against the walls but if I had a big bass staring at me a few feet away, I think I'd be taking cover too. When we opened up the ditch for the driveway, um, it took on a whole new life of its own uh, just in this last summer and a half. And so there's some uh, honey locust that popped up literally overnight. Um, and they are probably, I don't know, three inches in diameter maybe. But I'm gonna go ahead and trim those so when uh, Mr. Capper's back on his feet and he gets the sickle mower out, you won't have to worry about hitting them.
Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been too good in a sickle mower. Hey, little lizard. You like my log as much as I do. Except I need it. I was cutting on the back side of the berm today and uh, to my surprise, I noticed um, a hole. Now, we have some holes, I don't know, there's a toad, some kind of a toad that digs a hole, uh, can really make a mess. I don't think this is a toad hole. Um, if it is, it's a mega toad or it just got washed out from all the rain we just had. But it's about five inches across and right now, uh, I'm showing it to be about 20 inches deep, um, and it does angle off a little bit. So, I guess I'll uh, dig down and see what it is. I don't see any prints, I don't smell any animal, but uh, we'll see once. Definitely not a critter hole, or if it was, it was a Sarita one, but nobody in there. Um, there is a, a rock right there, but other than that, um, the only thing is, it's pretty soft. And uh, man, for how many times they went over with their machine on here. So, I mean, there's no water coming up, but it is softer than what I would expect. Um, and this is actually an area though that we have a seep, a slow seep that kind of goes year round, so might be part of it. All right, so no varmint to get rid of, just a hole to fill. <laughs> 